Hey guys, I'm Sarah and I play a lot of Mercy. Today I'm going to do another one of my one take guides to Mercy positioning. And today, as you can see, it is on Route 66 attack. So I've gotten a lot of questions about positioning with Mercy on the payload map. So I wanted to go through and do a really deep dive, just kind of covering all the areas of the map and sort of how I think about them as I'm playing Mercy on, um, on Attack Route 66. And I think a lot of the sort of principles that I use here are going to be applicable on, um, on other payload maps, like Dorado, for example. Um, but, uh, but I'm starting with Route 66. So basically, the first thing to be aware of when you start is don't stand in view of the door because there's like a really good chance that there's going to be a Widowmaker standing up there or up there or somewhere and if she can possibly zoom in and figure out where you are like the doors will open and they'll shoot you in the head and I've had that happen more times than I care to admit so I would very strongly urge you that when you're waiting for the match to start like wait back here or wait like over here or just be directly behind someone so that you can't get shot in the head um, so other than that, it's really a fair, like it really doesn't matter which, which spawn exit you go to. So the first thing I do when I come out is I try to hang out in this region actually. And it's like really hidden and there isn't really any action happening. Or it seems like there isn't really any action happening around here. But in fact, usually you'll have like a Junkrat or a Widow or someone up here that you can heal. You'll have like a Soldier or a Reinhardt or a Zarya in this region. Um, or possibly in this region. And so what I first do when I come out is I just kind of look here and say, whom can I support who's being shot at first? And then I go to that person. Um, if I were going to go to a Junkrat up here, I wouldn't actually stand up there. I would like zoom to them and like and heal them and then sort of slowly fall back down out of their range um, because putting myself up here would be a little bit too risky. So, um, but so I would mostly stand back here. Usually if I saw a push starting to happen, I would then go towards where that push is. So if there's a Reinhardt with a soldier, like I would come to the side rather than supporting someone who is over in that area. Um, and I would, I would keep, I would just sort of stay behind them, staying behind the Reinhardt shield really proactively in case there any, like, was a Widow there or there, um, or even down there or down there, who wants to shoot me? So, like, here more than in any other place, I feel like, well, that's not true. There are probably other places, too. Um, but I feel like it's really, really important to be aware of, like, the Reinhardt or Orisa shield that you have. If there isn't one, then I would be extremely hesitant to stand in this region. I would only stand back here and try to support them like this as they progress from like this spot over towards the payload rather like when I would have to break my beam rather than come out here without a Reinhardt or an Orisa I would come around here and try to like connect my beam to them and then back up out of here and then as the beam starts to get ready to break then I would like pop back out and you know keep it alive so I would do both of those. Once they get far enough away um, that it's not really convenient to do that, then what I would do is come out here to the payload, um, or really guardian angel over to someone who's near the payload, and then hide behind it. I do a lot of hiding behind payloads, this mercy. And you'd actually be surprised, I think, how frequently um, I'm able to move the payload a lot myself, just like as a mercy hiding behind it. Now, you want to be aware of like the underneath spot of someone who's shooting your feet because depending on the terrain that's between the payload and your like your enemy who's attacking you they might be able to shoot you in the feet so like be aware of that if you're when you're crouching behind a payload like this but I actually find this to be extremely effective and lots of times like I'll be the one moving the payload and we'll have like a Zarya up here or um, or a soldier and they aren't actually on it but they're sort of clearing the way and then I can keep them healed really safely from my little like nook right behind the payload so I really like doing that a lot. Um, as I as we come up here, I would probably do a lot of hiding behind this rock. Obviously, making sure that there's nobody over here who's going to shoot me. But really, sort of with payload maps, I spend a lot of the game doing healing from like alcoves and from the side. I I rarely want to be like out in the action. And I mean, I guess that's true with Mercy in general, but I feel like it's sort of unusual in payload maps because it's really just sort of like finding one alcove and sticking with that one until it's time to move to a new alcove. And so, like, this place is really great. I find it's a really good spot, but usually if you're here, the payload is moving fast enough that you can't do it for very long. Um, once you get up here, if you're on attack, I would be reluctant about using this as your alcove because you're so easily flanked by the um, by the attackers. So I would try to usually stay on this side, um, either down here healing people while with using the payload as as, as uh, cover right here, um, um, or like actually physically standing next to the payload and using the payload as cover to hide me from the people up here on um, on the sledge and from people who might be in there. Um, 
So then I'll usually just sort of sneak behind it, and usually when we get around to this point, the team, which has been sort of all tight, like my team, which has been all tightly together on the payload, hopefully, um, will sort of start to spread out a little bit. And so, like, sometimes you'll have the Reinhardt, who will have someone over here he can't resist charging at, um, or, or Zarya or a D.Va, one of our tanks will go over there. Um, lots of times people will get pulled off to deal with someone up here on this ramp. And so, whereas up until you get to this point, it's really easy to sort of loiter near the payload and, and in cover. Once you get around to this corner, you have to start taking a few more risks. And so, in general, as Mercy, I would almost never go up here. I would try to almost never be on that pathway because it's just, like, let's go up and take a look. Um, if we come up here to this pathway, I am at this, like, extreme risk. Like, first of all, there are probably people standing up here on top of the gas station. Um, there are probably people behind this that I might not be aware of behind the sign who could pop out at any moment. I'm visible to people who are inside the gas station. I'm visible to somebody like a Hanzo or someone or an Anna who's hanging out back here behind the gas station using that for cover from the payload. Um, I'm visible to a stupid widow who's back there, um, someone who's up here. Like, this is just a death zone, if you're mercy, um, on attack. So I would just really recommend not going here. What I might do frequently is guardian angel to someone halfway, someone who's up here, and then, like, put my beam on them, and then, but not actually stand up there myself. Um, and if the payload's moving around, this is actually a reasonably good spot, because with the, with the payloads right in front of me here, um, like, there are, and especially if I'm crouching, there aren't a lot of places where they can actually get a direct line of sight with me. We're just gonna have to imagine the payload throughout the rest of this video. Um, so, but anyway, so I would be really reluctant to go up there. Um, I do like going over here. This is reasonably good. You can hide behind this. Um, if you have so, if you have a teammate who's in this area that you're trying to support, I would not go over here if there is no teammate that you're trying to support because you'll be a big target for the reasons that I said before, like the widows up there or someone up here on top of the uh, like or a turret on top of this gas station. But if you have like a Rein like if the payload is here and you have a Reinhardt or a Zarya or a Diva or someone or even a soldier or a Hanzo who's over here on the right. Um, I would maybe like come over here and if you're standing right here depending on where the payload is you still could be kind of a target for these people and so I really like to get right up close to this and sort of hug it if there's a teammate here to sort of block block the view of me from a sniper or someone who's over here if there's no sniper obviously like then you only have to really worry about the gas station people and it's not super likely that they'll see you if you're really hugging this wall so um, I like this spot, and so usually what I'll do is spend some time here, like, getting whoever's in this area back to full health, and then I'll kind of go back to the payload. I really like to stay around the payload as much as I can because, A, like, I'm, it really personally, like, irritates me when people don't stay on the payload. Uh, like, they were on the, the bulk of the team who isn't a flanker doesn't stay on the payload, and so by being on the payload myself, I think it sort of encourages them to want to be where, at a place that's good for the team. Uh, it may not always do that, depending on whom you're playing with, but um, but I like to do that. Also, it heals me, so since I can't like burst heal myself, that's just like safe for me to stay in that region. Um, so, um, but anyway, so normally, like you know, I take these little detours to heal someone over here or heal someone over here, crouching next to the payload. Um, and as we go past the gas station, I would try as much as possible, like, to stick next to the payload and crouch on the inside if I can, um, or maybe right behind the payload to shield me from the people who are in here. Um, so, also, if you crouch behind it, it really shields you well from the people on top of the gas station. So, I would do that as we progress around. Um, I might go in the gas station uh, to get health or to heal someone if there's someone in here. Um, it's a fine place to be. I guess it's kind of medium, I feel like, risk-wise to be in here. Um, you're not, you know, you don't, you're not super visible, but at the same time, it's really easily flanked, and people are usually, like, bad guys are usually crawling all over it, so go in there if you need to, but I don't worry about it too much. Um, once the payload gets to this spot, which is an area that seem, where it seems to get held down a lot of times, um, I would probably not, the only, I would probably not ever, if I'm walking back from spawn, from spawn, come through this tunnel to get to the payload, unless... Um, a bunch of my teammates are already on the payload here. Or if the payload is exactly right here, so I so it's sort of providing cover for me as I as I walk through. Um, but um, but so if it is providing cover, then I would sneak through this way and just kind of creep up behind it um, and try to hang out in this region. This region is a is sort of a mixed bag for hanging out, I find, because you have this great cover. But, on the other hand, if a Ferris saw you come back here, it's really easy for her to just, like, shoot at that wall or shoot at this wall and, um, 
and damage you and then like you probably can't escape that quickly because like if you're here and the payload is here you probably don't have that many teammates in your line of sight and so once she's like on you it'll be hard for you to get out of there in a hurry um, if you have someone on top of the gas station um, depending on where the payload is you might be able to escape to them because obviously you just want to escape in a hurry to um, to be if there's like a ferris shooting at you here so this is this is good but again like if there's a McCree here like you're just SOL so um, so I guess I will often use this, but with caution. Um, and then, again, as I approach the, in this region, I would probably stay behind the payload and crouch down behind it to cover me from the widows up there. Um, if I'm in this area, though, I do always want to be extremely cognizant of what's happening up here, because people can just come seemingly from nowhere, because obviously they're coming from, like, back here. So I get no cues, no indicators that they're about to appear and shoot down on me um, until they're doing it. So. Um, if I am in this region, um, especially if I'm behind the payload and I'm trying to, like, heal my teammates who are, like, here and here and on top of the payload, um, I would just try to be really, really aware of who's up here on this roof and also who might be flanking, like, coming from around the gas station to get me. Um, so be very aware of that. Also, you know, watch under here. You usually don't get shot under there, but every once in a while it can be helpful because you can be like, oh, I see Genji's feet coming out or whatever. And so you can hide before he jumps over here at alts and kills you. Um, so, um, so yeah, in this region I try to stay behind the payload. Um, once we get up here, like once the payload is in this region, lots of places are safe unless things are really bad usually because they don't have, they're already losing this point so easily or so, so definitively that it's unlikely that there are a whole bunch of them like in the gas station on the roof. Like if they're here, they're on the payload probably. And so that sort of, it sort of opens up the rest of these areas as being pretty safe and I don't, and I can sort of stop focusing on what's behind me and focus only on what's in front of me. Um, but once we also, having said that, if we get up here, I do need to be cognizant of this like left flank behind me. So once we're in this region, I sort of like to try to be around here to the right, unless if there aren't too many guys up here, or just like hanging out in the gas station, because I can usually reach most of my teammates if the payload is between here and there. I can usually reach most of my teammates without too much difficulty from over here in this region. Um, so that works pretty well. Um, once you get the payload, I you know pick a tunnel to go through. Um, I don't want to be the first one through the tunnel. I want to follow someone else, ideally a tank. Um, usually, if you've been fighting for this point, now is a good time to, like, get everybody healed up. And so then I, like, get everybody back to full health while everything is calming down and the door is open and the other, like, the enemies have given up. Um, so then once I'm in, the, in this region, this region's super easy. It's just, like, stay in the tunnels as much as possible. <laughs> and um, they're going to probably see you. Eventually, like, they'll see your beam, and so even if you're, like, healing someone who's out here, they'll see your beam, and so I would try to kind of not stay in any place too long. I might guardian angel to someone over here and then be over here for a little while, and then, um, you know, if we still haven't moved the payload, I would sort of go back and forth or maybe crouch down directly behind the payload, as I, as I say, I do quite frequently in, um, in payload maps. Um, so, and in this whole region, it's pretty good uh, until you get up to the high side high side, that's right, that right there, um, because you can hide behind these, and you can hide behind the payload, and, like, really, if the payload's right here in front of me, this is actually pretty good, like, I can be shot from here and here, but, like, pretty much nobody else can see me, and so, if we get held up here, you know, I'll hang out in here, but it's a little bit risky, because I have to worry about people coming in from that side, so, it's, um, I mostly try to stay behind it or maybe on this right side hiding behind the payload as it progresses. Once we get into this open area, this is like kind of a death zone for me is mercy. I, I bet if that I had access to like all the locations that I died on all the maps, we would see like, like a heat map for it. I think we would probably find this area to be like quite red because, um, because there are just, there are just too many places to keep track of. Once you get here, like, you got those guys, you got those guys, you got those guys up there on the bridge. You've got a widow back there, maybe, or a widow back there. You've got a tracer in here, maybe a soldier or a McCree and all of these areas. Like, this is just a death zone. So, I mean, there's not a lot you can do. You can kind of try to hang back, but, like, that death zone applies to your to the rest of your team as well, and they're going to need healing. And so when you're in this region, I guess my advice would be, to just try as hard as you can to just always be moving. <laughs> always be finding the teammate who's the furthest from you and guardian angeling to that person. And then as soon as you're there, guardian angel to someone else who's far away. And you want to pick someone who's far away because then you'll like move very quickly as you're, guard as you're using the guardian angel. Like it'll be a fast zoom. So, um, 
So in this, pretty much until, like once you've sort of passed this sign and this sign, all the way until you're really, until about like here, I feel like it's just, it's just really dang, it's really dangerous for Mercy. So play super conservatively there, try to keep moving. Um, if the, if you start to round this corner with the payload, oftentimes this garage becomes a lot more viable as like a place you don't have to worry about because there's really no easy way for them to get over here if your team has kind of advanced to this point. So, um, so then you can use this for cover. Um, but, uh, but even still, once you, you know, have to keep accompanying the payload over here, it's a lot harder. Usually, or frequently, I'll be put in a position... Oh, I can't go in there. <laughs> frequently, I'll be put in a position where I want to hang out in, um, inside here and heal my team. Um, so, like, I can't go in there and show you, but I would be, like, right in this little alcove and healing them as they go along the payload and, you know, do the same thing over here because that's good. I know there's nobody behind me, probably, who's going to kill me. Um, let's see. I might go in here. I feel like if I'm in this building using it for cover, it's just, like, super chancy. Because it, I mean, it is, it is good, especially if you have a really, like, a widow who's causing a lot of problems for you. Um, then I might be more likely to go in here. Because, uh, <laughs> because, like, that widow could be any of these places and can get you up here. So, but there are just so many entrances to this place. It's, I mean, it's not a death trap, but it's, it's like a mixed bag. So, I would really only try to come in here if you are having really having trouble staying alive outside. Um, so anyway, then as we progress, oh, and I guess it sort of goes without saying. I should have, I should say it anyway. Um, that in this whole region, you want to be just like eagle-eyed, looking for um, for widows or occasionally a Hanzo um, who will who will get you because if they're going to get anyone, it's going to be you as Mercy, obviously. And so like from the from the moment you guys get this point, just like. And be super conservative at like popping out and being like, okay, where's the widow gonna be? And like get it in your head and be like, okay, let's look at the catwalk and like, oh, is she there? Okay, I guess it's okay. And I'm like explicitly just scanning these regions um, before I like pop out behind. And really that continues as you go along, like as you walk along, you know, look up there in the distance, look up there in the distance, um, and um, like look over there. And so I would just when you're playing Mercy, I mean, in general, everybody has to be cautious of Widows. Uh, I mean, that's certainly true, but um, as Mercy, you want to be more cautious. <laughs> and so, like, as you approach here, just watch all of these points, and as you're around the corner, watch all of these points. Um, and so I would, that's just something you've got to get in the habit of doing, especially after that first checkpoint, uh, because this is where, where she'll get you the most, I think. Um, so... Anyway, as you advance around the corner, it usually becomes a little bit easier. If there's a widow up there, she can still be pretty worrisome. But I find that usually in this region, I just hang around these rocks on the right. Um, and, you know, if I see someone coming, I just put this rock in between me and him and try to find someone like I can Guardian Angel to up here or something that's really far away. Um, so, uh, so I mostly stay over here on the right in that region until we get this checkpoint. Um... Let's see, I guess that's about it for this area. I mostly wouldn't be over here as Mercy until after we've gotten this checkpoint. Um, I feel like this is just, it's just too open to enemies coming out of here and here and like all along here. And so, um, and so I really would almost never be in this region um, as Mercy. If we're trying to take the checkpoint, we haven't quite taken it in this region, in the payloads in this region, um, I might, uh, I would probably, like, this would be sort of a death death trap area, <laughs> uh, this, whole, this whole, like, triangle right in here. Um, and so, with that in mind, I would probably need to be in this region just to, like, stay alive and stay around my team. And so, in that case, I would do sort of what I did over there, which is just try to always be moving. Like, ideally, you've got a Hanzo or someone on your team, or maybe a soldier or a Bastion who's up here on this. And then you can really frequently, like, Guardian Angel up to him, and then turn, or, like, once you're up there, you look down and, you know, there's a D.Va or a Zarya near the payload, and you Guardian Angel back to them. And so, in this region, I would always just try to be moving as much as possible, but mostly I wouldn't otherwise be here in, in this area. Um, I would be over here on the payload, just not over in that area to the left. Um, so, let's see. So once we take the checkpoint, um, I, again, will hide behind the checkpoint, crouch, er, behind the, uh, behind the payload, crouch behind it, um, as it advances through the door. Um, or if it's partially through, obviously, I would go through here. When I'm coming out, though, of spawn here, um, like, coming out of, of these doors, um, 
I would be really, really conscious of what's up here because you'll often have a widow or someone or a Hanzo. Um, and I actually focus on that really hard even after we've passed it. So oftentimes, like, maybe like the enemy team is, is sort of getting like resetting up after having just lost this last point so we're more or less free of enemies for you know for several seconds as we go up this ramp um and i try to be really proactive on this ramp at looking behind me because i don't want to be in the front if i'm in the front i'm at risk to these people i'm at risk from a widow over here maybe a widow up here or an anna um, or a Genji who's just hanging out in this region. So in general, as we're going up this ramp, I want to be behind the payload and letting everybody be in front. But what that means is that I'm a really huge target to, um, to any flankers that we get, like right up here. And so I would say it's really common for me, as we approach that ramp, to just keep looking behind me. And like keep checking, is there anybody coming out on that catwalk? Nope, okay, we're good. And then I go back and I heal, and then I, you know, connect my beam to someone and I check back, is there a Hanzo coming out there? Is there a soldier flanking behind us or a widow? Um, and so in that region, you know, between the checkpoint and the payload coming up to the to round this corner, um, I'll, you know, all the way up to here, I'll still be looking behind me really frequently to try to see what's happening on that catwalk. Um, also beneficial, is that if someone flanks right here, you can see that, but that's, I think, slightly less common um, and a little bit more suicidal for, for the flanker. Um, so once we get up into this vicinity, um, I basically consider the like main highway here to just be like a no man's land for me unless I'm behind a Reinhardt shield or an Orisa shield. Um, or I'm crouched down directly behind the payload and I'm safe to do that. Because sometimes you can be crouched directly behind the payload so that nobody can shoot you from down here, but then there'll be like a McCree up here or a Genji floating around. And so in that case, I still wouldn't consider this a safe place to be. Um, so mostly I try to not be the person to move the payload in this final section because it's just, it's just too risky. So what I would normally do then, if the payload's, you know, here-ish, um, I spend a lot of time back here healing people in this area healing people in this area from back here on the steps. Um, if I ever want to cross from here to there, um, I try to Guardian Angel. I would I would be extremely reluctant to walk across here where I'm in sight of a Widow um, without Guardian Angeling. And I mean, even using a Guardian Angel, like sometimes I'll still get a headshot, or get headshot and killed while doing that. But, um, but it's still better than just walking. <laughs> So, um, so I really would try not to cross here unless I had a really compelling reason. Now, you know, you can pop out here and look, but I mean, she might already be looking at you, or a Hanzo arrow might have already revealed that you're there. So, um, so I just consider that a very unsafe thing to do. Um, and if I do want to cross over here and I feel like I can't, what I would probably be much more likely to do is to walk back around, if, you know, the payload's still here, and do it where I can crouch behind the payload um, and, you know, come around this way. And I mean, I'm still visible to some degree, but not nearly as much as I would be if I'm walking across back there. So I'll also hang out up here, especially if we feel if the enemy team has mostly known locations and it's over there or over there. Um, because obviously they can ride these platforms around and so they could be flanking me up there or they could be walking from over here. But um, if I feel like I'm pretty comfortable with their knowing their current locations, I would hang out in this region and heal everybody. Um, as we push up, I might uh, stay behind the payload if the rest of my team is on the payload and crouch down here. Um, but then, pretty much as we move forward, usually we start having a little bit of trouble and then I end up hiding in here or supporting people in here or from in here um, as we progress. Um, and so then, again, once you get into this region, it becomes pretty dangerous. It's hard to find safe places to be. And so, like, you're just going to get tons of flankers from here and from here and from here, and you're going to have people shooting you from just all these spots. So really, once the payload gets to about here, it is, again, sort of a, a danger zone where you can expect to die a lot. And so if that happens, I try to be, like, really far back. Um, I might try to hang out up here and heal my team in this vicinity from up here Healing if I if if I feel like it's safe and there aren't people in this region. Um, but uh, and I guess the same is true from over here, but it's just so easy to be flanked here. It's it seems so risky. Um, so mostly I just try to always be with teammates at this point. I try to never be by myself and if I am by myself I crouch down behind the payload and sometimes they won't notice you there. So like, occasionally this backfires if, like, maybe I've got a Zarya or a soldier in front of me and I'm crouched directly, like, the payload's right here. I'm directly behind it. 
and you know I'm popping out and using my beam on both of them and then they both die and then like there's no one else here and so I'm stuck behind this payload and like I am in relative cover for a second but like there's no way for me to get to safety there's no way for me to get out here out of here and so then I they eventually like see that I'm there and then they come after me and then I usually die. So, I mean, you can do that, but really you're just gonna die a lot in this area. And so what I recommend doing again is the same thing I described before, which is just trying to find teammates that you can um, guardian angel back and forth between as much as possible to make yourself a harder target to hit. <coughs> so that's pretty much it. Um, obviously things get just sort of chaotic in this region at the end. Um, but a lot of times, I try to um, I try to guardian angel to someone who's up on the America track if I can, because I find they're usually it's like far enough away from the action that you can guardian angel really fast, nice and it time. really just pulls you out. And then there's health back there, and you can hide behind it. Um, so I feel like those are really good like candidates for guardian angeling to if there is someone who's who's up there. But that's obviously not always the case. Um, so I guess that's about it. That is uh, that's. Mercy positioning on Route 66 um, with payload maps. Um, let's see here, just a moment. If uh, if you guys have other videos you'd like to see me talk about, either Mercy positioning or more of my symmetric turret guides, uh, I would love to hear about it. Um, please please let me know via some method of communication. Either um, you can you can send me a message on Twitter, or if you come and hang out in our Discord, which you can see is down here in the lower right hand corner, discord.sarahwatch.tv. If the link doesn't work, try the link in the uh, in the description. You can click that; and it should work just fine. But um, but if you have something you'd like to see, I would love to hear about it. So please ch share there, or you can also tell me in the YouTube comments. I should have said that one first. Um, but uh, let's see. But I'm Sarah. My channel is Sarah Watch, and I stream right here on YouTube um, two or three times a week, usually in the afternoon's Pacific time. So if you want to know when I'm streaming, you can also follow me on Twitter. Um, I post uh, in the morning when I'm going to stream later that day, and then I post again when I'm going to start streaming. So it's usually a pretty reliable way to find out if I'm, if I'm about to. I also announce it in Discord, so if you're in Discord, then you'll find out that way. Um, let's see, anything else? Oh, yes, I wanted to mention my wonderful Patreon supporters. Um, you can see here on the list uh, to the left of me, um, I have... Um, my newest Patreon supporters, I've added you guys to the list just from a couple days ago, so I wanted to thank you guys all so much, as I always do, um, for making these videos. Just because I say it every day at the end of the video, it doesn't mean that I'm just, like, saying it. I do appreciate it every time. So, um, thank you guys for enabling me to make so many videos and so much content and stream as much as I can. So, um, I really appreciate that from all of you guys. Um, let's see, anything else I wanted to mention? I guess that's about it. If you, uh... You should totally come and join us in Discord. We're really friendly in there, and we talk about stuff. Talk about Overwatch. Talk about our lives. Um, so, yeah, if you're watching this, come and join us. Unless you're a dick. If you're a dick, don't come and join us. Just stay where you are. Um, I guess that's all. So thanks, you guys, for watching, and um, I will see you next time.